So we're back again today to look at more of the multi-mounts for the upcoming trophy lodge. And I thought I was going to have like a bit of a a bit of a time waste looking for some sort of like fur variant female kudu. And like the first one I find is a dusky. But uh yeah, the first one we're going to look at is called the lookout and we need a male kudu and a female. So we got the cool looking female this is a gray, actually, not a dusky. Either way. Basically not a common is all I wanted. And now, hopefully we can find, like, at least a level 4 male. That's more what we're after. I had this track, so I knew there had to be one about that size. Man, the 30-odd 6 being ethical for these things is a little overpowered. But yeah, he's 87 kilos, so not like the bigger horns for a 4. But of course, we just want to kind of look at the uh, the multi-mount thing. I mean, A50 ain't too bad. So, you know what? I think I have a better one in the lodge as well already that we can maybe use. We'll see what's there. Yeah, we've got a, a 917 in here. It'll have the bigger horns, so we might as well use that one. And that can go apparently on a medium uh, platform. So I think should go here. Yeah. Actually fits rather well. That's actually really cool. Quite a lot of good poses. I think I'll go with that one, especially since I have the the fox already in here. Just kind of looks odd just standing up, but that's really well done. I'm really glad again, like, more stuff for these plaques, because I had so many, like, empty platforms this size. But, uh, next, we can't do Breadwinner because that's the massive one. We need one male, two female Grey Wolves, and that's going to be a large one, which I think maybe is the round ones, but I guess that means that we are off to the Yukon. So, uh, funny story. I had to drive the four-wheeler pretty much the entire distance across the map to get into Wolf Territory because I've never been on the Yukon on this uh, beta save file. And I spotted a pack of wolves just out here, like I hopped off the four-wheeler, and there was a Melanistic in there, so I, I got really excited to shoot that because, uh, you know, I wanted a, a rare for this multi-mount. But, um, I kind of wasn't recording because I didn't record the drive over here. So that's unfortunate, but at least we get to hunt in the snow and we're still going to kill some wolves because we need females for the rest of that mount. But we have a Melanistic, I just don't have it on video. My bad. Actually, you know what? Surely I've shot a Melanistic before. Actually, I believe the same level, so uh, we can just pretend this is the same one, right? So we're still going to need two females. And to be honest, I might just blast them with the 300 just to move on and go see that. Because it doesn't look like they're slowing down. So that'll be one. Can I... Get another one. Can only spot males. Well, we'll catch up to them again in a second. So there's one. And actually, that's one of the ones with, like, the bit of red in the common fur. So if we can get kind of like the normal common, at least they'll be all a little bit different. Well, that worked. I decided to just fast travel back here because uh, I figured it'd be quicker. Like, to actually find a female wolf. And I think it probably was. And I'm just using the 300 because <laughs> not messing around. All right. I think that's actually maybe the same fur type as the other one. I don't really know. But hopefully we can actually go and see what it's supposed to look like. And that goes on the large one. So I'm assuming that's this. Yeah. So there's the, uh, the melanistic that didn't exactly make it in the video. I think, can I rotate this? I can't. I'll we'll probably do something like that. And as far as I can tell, they're the same fur type. But again, like, playing with the rares and stuff on this, that'll be really fun. But I like what they did there. They got the, uh, the alpha male always sort of more obvious. Anyway, that, uh, 
out of the way finally. Took way longer than expected. We got emergency takeoff. I don't think I should bother uh, shooting a bunch of ducks and a coyote. I think we'll just set that one up. Because, I mean, they're ducks and coyotes. But the cool thing is, once again, it is the, uh, the medium platform. Well, that's cool. They actually have it in flight. I thought there may be the, uh, be like something there to kind of hold it. I think that's going to be the one right there. They're all in flight. But yeah, getting like a, a rare coyote or just a, a normal coyote with a couple of rare ducks. That would look pretty neat. But I, I wanted to move on from, uh, from that one because I figured it'd be boring. But after that, we'll have that one we can't do. From the competition, we can. That is two male coyotes and a jackrabbit. Now that we're out of coyotes, we do get to actually hunt them. Well, there's one anyway. I was hoping there'd be a second male in this pack, just so I wouldn't have to uh, go searching. Thought that might have been a piebald for a second, but I don't think it is. That actually hit better than I thought. And there was somebody hopping around me when I was uh, lining that up. I don't know where that went. I think that's a gray male, which would be good. Just simply because um, the other, like the fox and rabbit one, I had a normal, like a, a common rabbit. I gotta think that warning call is one of the females coming back. But yeah, it'll be at least some different. I was trying to get like a brain or neck shot. I must have just gotten vertebrae maybe. Crazy overpowered that Mosin is. But now starts an interesting task of finding one more male coyote. And I'm sure I'll find females everywhere. Ooh, that's actually good weight. I didn't really think I'd find a male that quick. That's the first, like, track I've had of anything since we just shot the other one. And that's fresh, so he'll be probably somewhere up here in the forest feeding. Actually... It looks like he was right here. And I'm sure he probably spooked. But it might actually be smart to just kind of run after him. I'm sure he's not far from here. Yeah, there he is. And hopefully we can get lucky again. Well, actually it's a tough angle. That's better. That was kind of back into the intestines, but I think it's going to do just as well. Yeah, got full quick kill pelvis intestine but that will complete that one and I think we're actually gonna move this and put that there cuz just gonna match better is there any that's like kind of tug of war kind of whoa uh, never mind <laughs> that's what I want right there got that face in the door this is not a friendly place for rabbits um, but anyway We'll go and put that kudu up somewhere. I'm actually so happy they have, like, a lot of options for these, like, medium-sized plaques. It's just gonna allow, like, so much cooler trophy lodges. But I guess... We'll go in here. Need that one. And we'll actually have him standing up. I think it looks better, but... Yeah. Uh, I think that's gonna be the last one for this video. Because there's six more we can actually do. And we'll have those all in tomorrow's video, unless it actually releases. I'm kind of guessing it won't, but if it were to release, then I guess we'll do basically the same thing, but in the actual, like, live game. Look at the, like, detail with the faces. That's so dang cool. Anyway, I'm going to end up staring at this all day if we don't wrap up. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.